Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create like this beautiful gloss logo effect using a 2D object convert into 3D and we will turn into a stunning dynamic logo animation. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more creative tutorials like this. So let's jump right into it. But before that, come to the Adobe Illustrator. So first we will spread this logo to import inside After Effects. So click on this arrow icon and just expand your layers. Now select both of these layer and move the top. Now these layers are separate, but we will create individual layer of each icons. So click on the dot and click on this line and release layer sequence and select both of them and move the top and delete the extra layer. Now, as you can see, you have both layer are separate. So now save it and it's ready to import in After Effect. Now we are inside After Effect. Make a new composition and name it main. And go to the 3D render and switch to advanced 3D. And go to the again basics. And keep the setting 1920 by 1080 and 10 second duration and hit OK. And double click on the project panel to import your logo in AI file and import as composition retain list sizes and hit import. Now your logo is imported into the project panel. Now, as you can see, this is my logo. So I will drag and drop into the timeline. And as you can see, this is both both layer are separate. Now guys, just select both of these layers and right click and create. Create shape from vector layers and it will make your layer into shapes. Just delete both of these AI files. Now I will change the circle color. So I will make it white. And hit OK. Now select both of these shape layers and, and convert to the 3D. So now add a camera, so right click and add camera and I will keep the setting same. I will make the lens 50mm and two nodes camera and hit OK. Now guys, right click and add a null object and name it camera controller. Now make camera parent with the camera controller. So make this like this. After that guys, press R and before that convert this layer into the 3D. So click on it. Now we will play with the Y rotation. So increase the Y rotation value now. Just select the circle layer and expand it and go to the geometry option. Now increase the extrusion depth and you can extrude as per your required. So I will make it around 83 and fit to screen. And now it's looking good to me. Now make bevel style and then to convex. Now increase the bevel depth as per your required. And I will make it 3.6 and go to the material option. After that, increase the specular sinus value. So I will make it around 90%. Select both of them and copy the geometry options and material options and control C to copy and paste on the paste the layer style onto this part of the logo. So control V to paste the style. Now, as you can see, this layer 3D as well. So now we will play with the explosion. So expand the material options and I will decrease the specular sinus value around 67 now it's looking good to me now shrink the material options I will decrease the bevel depth little bit more so go to the geometry options and decrease the bevel depth 2.4 and it's looking good now shrink all of them now we will play with the rotations so select the camera controller and make the y rotation zero after that I will rotate this ring so select this circle ring and press R. Now we will play with the Y rotation. So go to the beginning and add a keyframe, rotation keyframe and go to the around 5 seconds and increase the rotation like this. Now rotation keyframe is set and it's looking so nice now but I will move the keyframe around 6 seconds. As you can see sign on this ring and it's looking really nice. Now I will rotate the, this logo crest. So I will select this layer and press R. So add a keyframe in the beginning and go to the around 3 seconds and I will rotate the Y rotation, make it 25 so that you can see the depth of the logo. After that, go to the 6 seconds and decrease the Y rotation value. And I will make it minus 90. Now guys, our logo rotation is complete. So we will move to the next step. So now shrink all of them. After that, select the camera controller and press R. 
go to the beginning add a x rotation keyframe and go to the around three seconds and i will increase it around 32 and go to the six second and i will decrease the value around 30 now our animation part is complete and you can use this same method to convert your 2d object into 3d like this i don't need the timeline after the six seconds so now make the render area around the six second this 3d logo looking so good now we will add gloss and glow on this logo so now we will add some lighting so right click on it and new and add a light and and light type make it environment light and check the cast shadow and hit ok now guys we will import the xr file and i have downloaded from the poly heaven and i'll provide in the description you can download there and drag and drop in the timeline now fill to the composition so go to the transform and fit to the comp after that select the environment light and go to the source and make the source to the studio small xr file and as you can see glow is applied on the logos but now we will play with the intensity so i will decrease the intensity value around 77 percent and this glow is looking good now now this environment light is looking really good on this logo so now go to the beginning and select the environment light and shrink the light options and expand the transform and increase the x rotation value so i will make the x rotation around 136 now we will add some expression on the y rotation so hold alt and click on this and add a expression time hashtag 50 it will move the reflection onto the logo this sign is looking so good onto the logo but we will add some glow preset to enhance the logo more so shrink all of them and right click and add the adjustment layer and name it glow now guys go to the effect and preset panel and search glow and apply the glow on the adjustment layer go to the effect and controls and change the glow threshold value to around 76 and glow radius make it 52 and glow intensity i will make it 0.4 After that play the animation and as you can see the sinus and glowing logo is looking really nice but you can adjust the effect and controls as per required so I will play with the growing radius and growing intensity now I will make it logo more smaller so I will select the camera controller and press S and increase the scale value so I will make it around 153 and now play the animation and let's complete your animation and you can use this same method to create your 2d logo into the 3d like this if you found this video helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up it really helps the channel grow and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you never miss out on more valuable and excited content like this i'll catch you in the next video with another interesting topic until then take care and keep creating